I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. This one's kind of a long-awaited one because I have some opinions about Josh Allen that some others don't. And, you know, take my opinion as you will value it or don't value it that's completely up to your uh, opinion and discretion but Josh Allen's a player I liked a lot his junior year and watching him play I liked him his senior year and his stats back it up he's a good player and then when you flick on the tape and you go back and watch him and you watch him kind of disappear from games at times and he really doesn't appear to me to be a pure edge rusher he seems more like a a hybrid 3-4 outside linebacker that really excels when he drops back into coverage as a situational uh, pass rusher and a, a, a more so a traditional cover guy that can blitz. Now, before everyone freaks out, I'm not calling Josh Allen bad or a bust or anything like that. I think he's a very good player. I think his versatility is fantastic. I just don't really value him as a pure edge based on what I've seen on tape, which he has some good pass rush moves. He almost never goes to them. So he needs to really utilize pass rush moves more often. And then he'll actually win. And he'll get to the quarterback more so than these situational or, or effort sacks. He's got a great sw uh, swipe to rip. Inside swim is good. The push pull is good. But his coverability, I think, is really where he excels given his size. Now, he's not super fluid in coverage. And his lateral movement is isn't anything to write home about, but he's very instinctive in coverage, which is odd for somebody his size and, and what his responsibility has been. So at 6'5", 260 pounds, he has pretty fluid hips for that for that size. He has good speed, and he really does read the quarterback pretty well. Um, as a pass rusher, he rarely uses a straight arm, and I think it's looked pretty good when he does go to it. And he shoots gaps and sets the edge pretty well, holds responsibility well. And his hands can be super strong in run defense. Here are some cons, though. And I know some of them kind of worked like they were both pros and cons. I think he's a good player. But he tries to bull rush very, very often. It's his number one most uh, used move. And it is super ineffective. He never gets to the quarterback with the bull rush um, Well, in most instances. Some of them are effort sacks. But it's really not the bull rush that's getting him there. Like Ed Oliver has a great bull rush. Interior defensive lineman Josh Allen certainly a little bit different from that he's tried the spin a couple of times this past year uh, it didn't work at all he doesn't really set it up he just kind of goes to it and it's just not too great he'll run around the tackle um, and set too wide of angles as a pass rusher more so than really uh, working as an edge bender he doesn't utilize those pass rush moves nearly often enough and of course it's a speed versus technique which can be helped out with NFL coaching and he does a lot of watching sometimes on defense, which I don't I don't like. I, I don't know about his motor. I think sometimes it's great. Other times it's like he's not even on the field. It's, it's weird. Hands are average as a pass rusher. He showcases that he can be more, but I, you just don't see it on a down-to-down -down basis. And I really don't think he's physical enough to be a traditional 4-3 defensive end. I think he's a better fit as a 3-4 outside linebacker. I think his projected forward, he's probably going to be uh, four six maybe I think he'll run pretty fast four six five his best position for me is as a four three outside linebacker I know that's going to be um, probably widely disagreed upon who can rush the passer can play some three four outside linebacker his projection for me I think he'll probably go top 10 maybe even higher than that I see him getting mocked a lot really really high I don't think he's the best player in this draft he's not a top five player for me um, I think he's a top 25 player, which people aren't going to like, but I almost view him as a little bit of a tweener where I'm not sure he's athletic or talented enough in coverage to be every down four, three outside linebacker. I think he could develop into that, but I don't think he's physical enough to be an every down edge rusher. My comparison for him is Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr at UCLA, pass rusher. Couldn't really do that very much at the NFL level. Kind of worked into a more of a 4-3 outside linebacker, and he really found success there, situationally rushing the passer as well. Anthony Barr is, is a comparison that that really strikes home for me. He's the one player that I, when I was watching Josh Allen again, was like, wow, this, this really is Anthony Barr. But 
don't take this as too negative. I just think he's a little bit overhyped right now. I think he's really versatile. I think he offers a lot to a defense. I just think he's an interesting player, and you really have to make him fit. And I don't think that's as a 4-3 defensive end. I think he's as an occasional edge blitzer. Anthony Barr. Look at what Anthony Barr does. Let's go ahead and get into a more extended breakdown with some clips on the 7th Round Bust podcast now available on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. Josh Allen, I'd like to take the uh, go ahead the, the lead on this. Which you have is, the floor. Uh, yeah, I, okay. So I like Josh Allen. I do. I still think he's a really good player. I don't really find him to be an edge rusher. So when I see everyone like freaking out at me, for, oh, you didn't mock Josh Allen to the 49ers at 2 or to whoever. Now the Jets are in a 4-3. Josh Allen is not a 4-3 defensive end, I think, at all. I know he's a size. He's 6'5", 260, but he doesn't play like that. It's, he's, just, he's just not a pure edge rusher to me because, like, first of all, he doesn't really utilize pass rush moves ever. I, I don't want to say ever, but he doesn't utilize them enough. His hands are average, and um, he does have some good pass rush moves when he utilizes them, but I, I really don't see him as an every-down 4-3 defensive end. I almost say that he's a, a more typical 4-3 outside linebacker. I don't know if that's going too far, but he reminds me of Anthony Barr. I know you guys probably already uh, see that if you're watching the prospect breakdown on the channel, but in the podcast, he reminds me of Anthony Barr. I think someone that was... Josh Allen was at uh, at Kentucky and then moved to the NFL and then became more of a 4-3 outside linebacker because he's pretty good in coverage. But I think his hands are average. And I think even though he does have some good pass rush moves, he, he never uses them. He uses them so sparingly that are they good because he's just throwing them out there randomly or are they good because they're actually good? So I think he has good speed. I think he reads a quarterback well. I think he's pretty fluid in coverage, not exceptional. He's a big guy, but, you know, pretty good in coverage, shoots gaps well, uh, and he's good at holding the edge as well. And his hands are strong sometimes in run defense, but I think he has way too many cons to be a regular 4-3 defensive end. He goes to this bull rush all the time. It's terrible. His, he goes for the spin sometimes. He gets pushed down. Very inconsistent as a pass rusher. And he doesn't utilize his pass rush moves nearly often enough. He tries to win with athleticism more so than technique, and that doesn't really work in the NFL. We've seen that with Jadavian Clowney. He was just a monster at South Carolina because of his athleticism, strength, speed, and then he went to the NFL, and he's kind of figuring out what to do. And I know he's getting better now, so I'm not saying that Josh Allen can't be a great player on the edge, but I don't see him as that now at all. He watches a lot. I'm like, buy tickets to the game. If you want to stand around and watch, he, he doesn't play with a high motor, I don't think. Um, and his his hands are average. He talked about that a little bit. I don't think his physicality is there to be a 4-3 defensive end. I just don't. Yeah, um, definitely agree on a lot of things there. Uh, what I just saw is that he's not in the senior bowl, which is kind of disappointing because I was at, I was thinking that, you know, would love to see him in the senior bowl. He's not in is the senior bowl. Is he not? Bowl. I just looked at it six days ago. He said that he's going to sit out the senior bowl. Mm, of course he does. So uh, it, it really, I, I don't like that at all. Um, like you said, he has good pass rush moves when he uses them. He just doesn't I, use I, them that much. But I almost wonder if they're only good because of how sparingly he uses them. <laughs> yeah. like if, if Dwight Freeney did a spin move every play, his spin isn't going to be very good because they're going to expect it every time. Right. So when you're expecting bull rush and, and, and just speed around the edge – and then he actually comes with a good inside swim or push pull, rip around. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's what it comes down to. And when he's not using them as much, it's hard to see if they're going to be good on a consistent basis. And this is not me trashing him. I think he's a really good player. He's still yep. going to be a top twenty-five player on my big board for sure. But I just don't see him as a top five player in the class. I don't see him. Maybe it's a top ten player. So I think if if NFL teams kind of see the same thing. This is a player that isn't going to get drafted as high because he, to me, isn't a 4-3 defensive end, at least not right now. He doesn't play with enough physicality to his size, and even though he's a good athlete, I don't think the technique is there, and I think I think that's a big problem. It's it's Clowney versus Khalil Mack, and he's more of a, a Clowney, but he's less athletic, less athletic, 
And I don't think he has the technique of a Khalil Mack that made him so good and has made him so good. He He's a, he's a question mark for me. I think a first-round talent, uh, but I, definitely not top five for me. I Definitely not top five. Yeah, I think uh, I think he's definitely a first rounder. I don't I don't have him in the top ten for me right now. Um, it, it's it's weird. He has I I think outside linebacker is where he would be best because he mm-hmm. does have good coverage and good play rec and all that. He he reads the quarterback a lot. Um, he holds the edge well. It's just it doesn't seem like it. He, he almost has the for me. Because I remember being an absolute monster in some games. It's like the, uh, what is it, the Mandela effect? Where you like yeah, remember you... things that didn't happen. That's almost mm-hmm. what it was with Josh Allen with me. Because we're watching the Florida tape. I'm like, I remember him being absolutely dominant in that game. And he had like a few plays here or there, but he wasn't like that dominant as what I remembered. So, uh, I think he's a guy that makes splash plays and yeah. makes you remember him. But he on a down-to-down basis, he kind of disappears sometimes. Yeah, and We and, saw that a lot. And like the big thing is like he likes to... Like, sometimes his effort is questionable, where he would be standing around sometimes, and he likes to watch a lot, which mm-hmm. isn't good. So, uh, he's fast. He's a fast guy. Uh, yeah. it, 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 a lot of the things, a lot of the issues with him is coachable, I would say, where, you know, if you do want to make him a pass rusher, you, you have to coach him up on that. But I think outside linebacker, like you said, 4-3 outside linebacker. Who can uh, rush the passer. Who can rush is almost a fit for him honestly for me i wouldn't mind him seeing as an inside linebacker either because i think he can play inside linebacker but i think he has some crazy size yeah he'd be be, huge for an inside guy he'd be huge for an inside linebacker but i don't know if i like this but i almost want to call him a tweener where he's in between defensive end and linebacker we'll have to see how he tests i think Mm mm-hmm 10-yard split is going to be really important in the 40-yard dash. I want to see his agility and that side-to-side lateral movement. Uh, so I want to see how he does in these drills. He's going to be running with the defensive lineman. I would have to guess, but I, I don't know. And then I want to see three-cone. I want to see how quick he is because that's something that's sometimes difficult to uh, to see on tape. I, not always, but with a player like him, I think it was. I like him. I, I think people are going to hear this and think that I'm bashing on him, but it's not that. I'm just a little bit disappointed based on when you watch the games as a fan versus, you know, analyzing the tape and really looking at him exclusively, trying to see what he does. And, you know, you watch the games and you're all oh, game record. And then you watch the tape and you're like, where's the hype? Why, where's it coming from? I don't, I don't know. I like him. I think he's a first round talent. I think his versatility is his strongest asset, but he's got to utilize these pass rush moves more often and he needs to, he needs to develop them more as well it, it's concerning to me as well that he's sitting out the senior bowl it's almost like he's saying hey my stock is as high as it's going to be i don't want to do anything to uh to lower that so uh, is he even going to perform at the combine you don't you don't know yeah that was uh that, that was the biggest surprise that i just saw so uh we'll see what happens josh allen it's just i would have loved to see him that senior bowl because if he had a big senior bowl he would have really solidified that you know he should be top 10 or whatever but Definitely a first rounder. I honestly don't see him dropping out of the top twenty. He could, no. he could, but I don't think he will drop out of the top twenty. Just I would, because I he, would doubt he with is, all the hype that he's got. He's so a far. physical beast, and he's got the hype. It's just on tape. Like when we're watching, we're just like, ah, he has a, underwhelmed. A little underwhelming, but he's still a monster, an absolute monster.